What's good, people? You already know who it is, your boy Wiz, back again with another video, man. Just got up out of the gym, hit back and biceps. I'm feeling good, got a nice pump. About to go ahead and hit this dentist appointment up. But um, I was in the gym, I was thinking, man. Um, so it's a lot of people I follow on YouTube, and one person that I follow on uh, YouTube in particular is Chris Jones. I'm pretty sure you might follow him as well. Uh, Pump Chasers. I think he recently just changed his channel name to Beast Mode Jones. But Chris Jones, everybody in the fitness community knows Chris Jones. And I was checking out one of his videos yesterday, and he was uh, he was speaking about a whole lot. But he said something that kind of um, kind of resonated with me, and really brought me back to like my mindset for how I stay in shape. So pretty much, I'm not going to go into what he was saying. Like I said, he was talking about a lot of things. But one thing that he mentioned in his video, he had said a statement. He said, uh, the way you do one thing is the way you do all things. And he was just pretty much trying to say, like, whatever it is you're trying to do in life, whatever system you use in order to get something done that you're good at, you should be able to pretty much employ that system for whatever you're trying to do and get it done in a way that you understand it as, as long as you have some type of education or you know just knowledge of what you're trying to do you should be able to take pretty much your procedure of getting the thing that you're done that you're good at with things new things that you're learning you should be able to get those things done so like I said it made me think about pretty much the mindset or just the I guess I don't know the procedure or how I stay in shape or how I just you know I may get out of shape how I always come back bounce back or pretty much get to the level of body weight leanness that I want to get to so I pretty much have a method like I said and how I like to stay under control as it pertains to my weight and it really doesn't have a name to it but if, it ha if I had to put a name with it, I probably would call it the, the money method. That's, that's how I stay in shape. It's the money method. And I've always used this analogy when I explain to people pretty much how I look at getting in shape, right? Pretty much the money method, which I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and name it that now, and which I use to get in shape is when you think about like money and your bank account, there's a level that you always want your money to be at at least if you know if you can control it that is comfortable for you you know you don't want to see your uh, bank account low you damn sure don't want to see your bank account overdrawn negative you know you want to see some funds in there for a rainy day you want to be able to have funds to do what you got to do etc cetera, etc cetera, right so when I look at my body and just you know my physique you know there's a certain way I want to look you know what I'm saying like I don't want to be like overdrawn like out of shape or I don't want to be, you know, just completely just balanced low, meaning that, you know, I'm overeating and stuff like that. So pretty much the way I look at money and the way I look at staying in shape goes hand in hand. And the reason why when he said the way you do one thing is the way you do all things, the, the reason why I, I feel like I connected so much with that statement as it pertains to staying in shape is that I look at it like this, right? If I know I'm going out or like say if I'm going out, if I'm even in that mindset of like wanting to stay lean, if I'm going out, I like to like plan for it, right? Like if I know I'm going out for a dinner or something where I'm going to pick out, I'm not going to pick out early in the day. Or if I know I'm going to be eating like trash an entire weekend, I'm not going to be picking out that entire week. Just like if you have some money, and you have like a something you're trying to buy or something you're trying to do you may be like holding money saving money for a vacation or for a purchase that you're trying to do you can't just be out here just buying whatever you want and your money be messed up and you can't really do what it is you want to do like so many money analogies that i can use as it pertains to like you know in contrast with losing weight like say if i didn't save up for uh, what it is I wanted to buy or I didn't make way for what it is I wanted to eat. It's almost like using credit. Like, you know, you can do it, 
But in order to get to that level of like where you want your balance, your bank account, your body to be at, you know, you have to pay yourself back. So I can use I can use a thousand dollars in credit to get what I need, or I can just go out and pick out knowing I didn't plan for it. But you know, if I was to live like that for a long period of time, or even to do that like back to back, eventually, you know, money wise, of course. My funds gonna be running low. My my uh, bank account gonna be low. My credit u- utilization gonna be high. I'm gonna be all messed up. Then I'm gonna have to really backtrack to get back on track. And same with my body. If I completely just trash myself, you know, for a week straight or for a long period of time, you know, my my I don't even know what to call it. My my just, I'm gonna just be out of shape. I'm gonna be feeling nasty. It's gonna take me a longer time to get back to where I want to be, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to just really dedicate more time into doing it rather than just kind of like planning, pacing myself and staying like organized like I would with my money. And don't get me wrong, it's times where I don't care. Like as of right now, like, you know, if you've been following my channel, you know that I competed last year. And to be honest, you know, I haven't really been tracking anything, man. I, I, I've been trying to track my protein and I've been trying to like at least make sure I hit my protein because I'm really not uh, focused on any body goals right now. And I'm just trying to stay lean for the most part. But there is like a comfortable range, even still, even though I'm not like competing or nothing, I'm not trying to get down and wait. It's still a range that I'm comfortable with. Like, you know, as, as, as long as I don't go too far past 220, you know, I'm good. And, you know, I stepped on stage. I was like 181. So that's like 40 pounds. Like, it's not a big, it's, it's, it sounds like a, a big deal, but that's really not a big deal. But if I get to like the mid 220s and almost hitting 230, like I'm, I'm overdrawn. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to get no bank account numbers. But like I said, man, it's a certain level that I want my bank account to stay at. My, my credit utilization to stay at that's comfortable for me. And, you know, the way I, the way I look at saving money, budgeting, spending money is the same way I look look at, you know, being in shape, going out, enjoying myself, working out, and keeping everything in line, man. So drop me some comments. Uh, let me know if my whole analogy makes sense. Does it sound stupid? Thumbs down the video twice if it sounds stupid. And um, yeah, man, I'm about to go ahead and hit up this dentist. More content on the way. I'm trying to get more consistent. I've been saying that for like three years, but hey, man, look. I'm riding out making a video for you guys, man. If you like this video, don't forget to throw it a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.